In the vast expanse of our universe, countless celestial bodies come in close proximity to Earth. Efforts such as NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations (NEO) program and the ESA's Space Situational Awareness program, among others, play a crucial role in identifying and monitoring near-Earth asteroids and assessing their impact risk. NEOs are comets and asteroids that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter the Earth's neighborhood. They can range in size from as small as a few feet to as large as several miles in diameter. While the vast majority of these celestial bodies pose no threat to our planet, there are some that have the potential to come too close for comfort. And when it comes to the safety of our planet, there's no such thing as being too cautious. Now you might be wondering how close is too close? Well, the boundary set by NASA to define a near-Earth object or NEO is about 28 million miles from our planet. To put that into perspective, that's more than a hundred times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. While that may seem like a comfortable buffer in astronomical terms, it's a mere stone's throw away. So, who keeps an eye on these cosmic dancers ensuring they don't stumble and crash into our planet? The answer to that is NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations or NEOO program. This vigilant program serves as our planet's cosmic guardian, keeping a watchful eye on these celestial bodies and ensuring that any potential threats are detected long before they pose any risk to Earth. With an array of powerful telescopes and innovative technology, the NEOO program scans the skies day and night, tracking these NEOs, studying their orbits, and predicting their future paths. This is our first line of defense in safeguarding our planet from potential cosmic catastrophes. NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations, or NEO, is our planet's shield that stands between us and the vastness of space. NEO is our first line of defense against near-Earth objects, or NEOs. The NEO program has a crucial role to play in our survival. It is tasked with detecting, tracking, and characterizing these NEOs, providing us with crucial data that could one day save our planet. It's like having a cosmic weather forecast, giving us a heads up on what's spinning our way. Every day, NEOO's advanced telescopes and detection systems scan the skies, looking for these celestial bodies. When they find one, they track it, studying its size, shape, and trajectory. This information is invaluable. It tells us if the object poses a threat, and if so, when and where it might strike. But NEO's role doesn't stop there. The data it collects also helps us understand these objects better. It gives us insights into their composition, their origins, and their history. This knowledge is not just about safety, it's about scientific discovery. It's about understanding our universe a little bit better. NEO is our cosmic watchman, tirelessly scanning the skies, keeping an eye on the celestial dance that unfolds above us. It is a testament to human ingenuity and our desire to protect our home. With NEO, we are not blind to the cosmic dance. We can see it, understand it, and most importantly, prepare for it. We may be small in the grand scheme of the universe, but with programs like NEO, we are not helpless. We are ready, aware, and ever vigilant. Spotting these tiny specks in the vast cosmic ocean is no easy task. To understand the process of detecting near-Earth objects or NEOs, we first must grasp the enormity of the space we're scanning. Picture the night sky, a blanket of twinkling lights. Each star represents a galaxy, each galaxy housing billions of stars, and around these stars, planets, asteroids, and comets orbit. In this grand cosmic ballet, we're trying to spot the dancers that might stray too close to our corner of the stage. Our first line of defense in this formidable task is a network of ground-based telescopes stationed around the globe. These observatories, equipped with powerful lenses and sensors, scan the heavens methodically, capturing images of the night sky. As they sweep across the sky, these telescopes are looking for objects that move in a way that suggests they're in our neighborhood, the solar system. Now you might wonder, if we're looking for objects close to us, why not use space-based assets? Good question. NASA does use space-based telescopes like the NEOWISE mission, which orbits our planet and uses infrared sensors to detect NEOs. These space-based assets have the advantage of unobstructed round-the-clock views of the sky, unaffected by earthly concerns such as weather and daylight. However, spotting a NEO is only the first step. The real magic happens when we start analyzing the data. This is where computer algorithms come into play. These algorithms sift through the vast amounts of data collected by the telescopes, looking for anything that moves against the backdrop of the stars. When they find something, scientists step in to verify the findings and calculate the object's orbit. The calculation of the orbit is crucial. 
By knowing the orbit, we can predict the object's path and determine whether it poses a threat to Earth. This process requires a blend of mathematics, physics, and a deep understanding of celestial mechanics. But don't worry, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to appreciate the complexity and elegance of this process. So to sum up, the detection of NEOs is a multi-step process. It starts with the scanning of the sky using ground and space-based telescopes. The images captured by these telescopes are then analyzed using computer algorithms to identify potential NEOs. Once an object is identified, scientists calculate its orbit to determine if it poses a threat to our planet. This process is a testament to human ingenuity and our ceaseless quest to understand and protect our place in the universe. Through meticulous scanning and analysis, NEO makes the invisible visible. This is not just a quest for knowledge but a mission of preservation, a mission to ensure that our home, this pale blue dot we call Earth, remains a safe haven in the cosmic ocean. After spotting an NEO, it's then time to track and understand it. That's where the magic of the Near-Earth Object Observations program steps in. So let's dive into the world of tracking and characterizing these celestial wanderers. Once an NEO is detected, the first step is to track its trajectory. This is crucial to determining whether the object poses a threat to Earth. It's a bit like a game of cosmic billiards, except the stakes are much higher. Scientists use powerful telescopes and radar systems to follow the NEO's path across the sky. They collect data over days, weeks, and sometimes even months to precisely plot its course. But tracking an NEO isn't just about following its path, it's also about understanding its speed and direction. This is what astronomers refer to as orbital determination. By calculating the NEO's velocity and the angle at which it's moving, they can predict its future position. It's a complex task, but one that's vital to safeguarding our planet. Now once the trajectory is known, it's time to characterize the NEO. The goal here is to understand its size, composition, and structure. Size is the first thing to establish as it plays a significant role in determining the potential impact hazard. Astronomers use the light reflected off the NEO to estimate its size. The bigger the NEO, the more light it reflects and vice versa. The next step is to figure out what the NEO is made of. This is where spectrometers come into play. These instruments analyze the spectrum of light reflected off the NEO to reveal its composition. It's a bit like cosmic fingerprinting. Each type of material, be it rock, metal, or ice, reflects light in a unique way, allowing scientists to identify it. Finally, astronomers try to understand the structure of the NEO. Is it a solid piece of rock or a loose rubble pile? Is it spherical or irregularly shaped? This information is particularly important if we ever need to deflect an NEO heading our way. Different structures would require different deflection strategies. It's important to remember that each NEO is unique. They come in all shapes, sizes, and compositions. By tracking and characterizing them, we can not only learn more about our cosmic neighborhood but also better prepare ourselves for any potential threats. This is the beauty of the NEO program. It's not just about detection, it's about understanding, learning, and ultimately, protecting. And that's the essence of the NEOO program's tracking and characterization efforts. It's a dance of science and technology, guided by the rhythm of curiosity and the beat of survival. It's a mission that requires precision, patience, and a deep love for the mysteries of the universe. The more we know, the better we can prepare. And with the NEOO program leading the way, we can be confident in our journey through the cosmos. You might wonder, why does all this matter? Well, my space-loving friends, the answer is simple and yet complex. Near-Earth objects or NEOs pose a certain degree of risk to our planet. It's not about creating a sci-fi movie scenario, but rather about understanding and managing these risks in a calculated and scientific way. NEOs, as their name suggests, are celestial bodies that come into close proximity with Earth. This group includes both asteroids and comets. While most of these objects pass by our planet without causing any harm, there's always a small chance that one could collide with Earth. Think about the event that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs around 65 million years ago. That was a result of an asteroid impact. Now we're not saying that a catastrophic event like this is imminent, but the reality is, it's possible. And that's where the Near Earth Object Observations Program, or NEOO, comes into play. NEO acts as our cosmic guardian, our eyes in the sky, keeping a close watch on these objects. This program aids in identifying, tracking, and characterizing NEOs. It helps us understand their size, shape, rotation, and trajectory. This information is absolutely crucial in formulating any planetary defense strategies. 
If a potentially hazardous NEO is detected, having this data can enable us to predict its path and determine the best course of action. Moreover, the data collected by NEOO also contributes to scientific research. It aids in understanding the origins and evolution of our solar system. It's like peering back in time, unveiling secrets that have been hidden for billions of years. In essence, the importance of NEO cannot be understated. It's not just about defending our planet, but also about advancing our knowledge and understanding of the universe. It's about exploring the unknown, treading the path that leads to discovery and innovation. So the next time you gaze up at the star-studded sky, remember this. NEO is our first line of defense against potential cosmic threats. It's our cosmic shield, our guardian in the universe, safeguarding our home against the unknown. Over the years, NEO has detected a myriad of fascinating objects. Let's dive into some of the most notable ones that have been discovered. First up, we have the asteroid named Bennu. This carbonaceous asteroid, which is roughly the size of the Empire State Building, was discovered in September of 2005. Bennu is of particular interest to scientists due to its potential for harboring organic molecules, which are the building blocks of life. It got within a mere 7.5 million miles of us back in 2019, a close shave in astronomical terms. Next, we have Oumuamua, a peculiar object that was first spotted in October of 2017. What makes Oumuamua stand out is its unique shape. It's elongated, like a cigar, which is unlike any asteroid or comet we've seen before. On top of that, it's an interstellar traveler, originating from a different star system altogether. Then there's the asteroid Apophis. Named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, Apophis measures over a thousand feet in diameter, about the size of three and a half football fields. Initially, it was thought that Apophis could pose a threat to Earth in 2036, but further observations have thankfully ruled out that possibility. And how can we forget about Ryugu? This diamond-shaped asteroid was discovered in 2004 and is believed to be a relic from the early solar system. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, even managed to land a spacecraft on it and bring back samples to Earth for further study. Finally, we have Didymos and its moonlet Dimorphos. This binary system is unique because Dimorphos is the smallest moon of an asteroid that we've ever discovered. It's so significant that NASA's DART mission plans to crash into Dimorphos to test our ability to deflect a potentially hazardous asteroid. These are but a handful of the countless asteroids and comets that NEOO has detected. Each one tells us more about the universe we live in. Their size, composition, and proximity to Earth all provide valuable insights. Whether they're made of rock, metal, or ice, whether they're spherical or oddly shaped, each one is a testament to the diversity of our solar system. And let's not forget, while these objects may seem distant and unrelated to our lives, they have the potential to impact Earth, both literally and figuratively. Their study not only helps us protect our planet, but also sheds light on the origins of our solar system, and perhaps even life itself. Each NEO is a unique piece in the cosmic puzzle. Every discovery adds a new layer to our understanding of the universe, and who knows what incredible finds await us in the future, to the stars and beyond. With every passing day, the NEO program continues to evolve. As we gaze into the future, the NEO program stands poised on the threshold of exciting new developments. The next few years will witness a significant expansion in our capabilities to detect and characterize near-Earth objects. NASA is currently in the process of developing a new space-based infrared telescope, aptly named the Near-Earth Object Surveillance Mission. This state-of-the-art instrument will supersede its predecessors in both scope and precision, providing us with a much more comprehensive understanding of the celestial bodies that share our solar neighborhood. In addition to this, NASA is also planning to launch the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART for short. This mission, set to launch in the near future, aims to demonstrate the kinetic effects of crashing an impactor spacecraft into an asteroid. The goal here is to assess whether we could, if the need ever arises, deflect a potentially hazardous asteroid away from a collision course with Earth. But the advancements aren't just confined to space. Here on Earth, Ground-based observatories are also gearing up for a technological overhaul. The introduction of artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms into the detection process will significantly boost our ability to spot and track NEOs. These cutting-edge technologies will not only increase the speed and efficiency of detection, but will also help in more accurately determining the size, composition, and trajectory of these objects. 
This will enable us to better assess the potential threat they may pose and devise appropriate mitigation strategies. In essence, the future of the NEO-O program is a canvas of endless possibilities. With each new mission and technological breakthrough, we are inching closer towards a future where we can coexist with these celestial neighbors in harmony and safety. As we continue this journey of exploration and discovery, we can expect the NEOO program to play an even more pivotal role in safeguarding our planet. The future of NEO promises even more exciting discoveries. From the comfort of our homes, it's easy to forget about the vast cosmos spinning around us. Our daily lives are filled with earthly concerns, yet out there, beyond the blue, a celestial ballet is in motion. And within this ballet are dancers that could potentially crash our party. That's where NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations, or NEOO program, comes into play. It's our first line of defense, our cosmic guardian, keeping a vigilant watch on these celestial objects. The NEOO program is not just about detection, it's about characterizing these objects, tracking their movement, understanding their composition, and predicting their paths. This isn't just for the sake of scientific curiosity, but for the very safety of our planet. Consider this. Even a relatively small asteroid, say the size of a house, could wreak havoc if it were to collide with Earth. Now imagine an asteroid the size of a skyscraper, or even a city. The consequences would be unimaginable. But thanks to the NEOO program, we are not defenseless. The program has already detected and tracked thousands of near-Earth objects, some of which are large enough to pose a significant threat. But knowledge is power, and by knowing the size, shape, and trajectory of these objects, we can start to plan for the unthinkable. The NEOO program is not just about preserving the present, but also about safeguarding the future. It provides us with the tools and the knowledge to take proactive steps to divert or mitigate a potential cosmic catastrophe. So as we go about our daily lives, remember that out there, in the vast expanse of space, a cosmic dance is ongoing. There are objects spinning, twirling and hurtling through the cosmos, some of which could potentially change the course of life as we know it. But thanks to NASA's NEOO program, we can sleep a little easier knowing that someone is keeping an eye on the cosmic dance. Our journey through space and time has come to an end. We've soared through the vast expanse of the cosmos, delved into NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations program, and glimpsed into the future of space exploration. As we sign off, we hope you've been inspired to dig deeper, to learn more about the universe we inhabit, and the incredible work being done to understand it. Remember, knowledge is an adventure and each new fact a stepping stone to the next. Don't stop here. Continue to explore, ask questions, and cultivate your curiosity about the cosmos. Whether it's NEOO or other space-related topics, there's always something new to discover. In the grand scheme of things, we're but tiny specks in the universe. Yet, it's our curiosity, our thirst for knowledge, that makes us truly remarkable. So, let's keep exploring together. Thank you for joining Time Pilgrimage on this adventure, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating time and space-related content.